So to our young people <clears throat> and older people, don't fall into an anti-Muslim rabbit hole on the internet or on YouTube where the Quran is being attacked. Most of these anti-Muslim channels, take it from me, I give you sincere advice, I've been dealing with these people for decades, most of these anti-Muslim channels are run by a bunch of charlatans who take advantage of the average Muslim's ignorance of certain particular issues. They want us to chase these red herrings and thus cause us to doubt the strength of our overall established narrative. Sometimes Muslim scholars have to listen to this garbage in order to formulate refutations if they feel that it's necessary. But the average lay Muslim should not even click on these videos. Just ignore the algorithm. Imam al-Ghazali, he said that just listening to a zindiq or a mubtadir, listening, just listening to a heretic or an innovator is a breach of the right a breach of the haq of the ear. It is impermissible for your ear to hear such things, let alone listening to some vile kafir or mustahzi, some mocker who hates Islam because the truth of Islam destroys his own false theology or the ethical positions of Islam denounce his own degenerate lifestyle. This is really at the root of their hatred. Many Christian apologists and polemicists who attack the Quran much of their vitriol is due to the fact that they recognize, they recognize the truth of our narrative when it comes to the Qur'an. So they're filled with envy and frustration because their narrative has been utterly deconstructed by secular academics and historians. This is called the guilt complex. They accuse our narrative of falsehood and attack our scripture because they know that their own narrative in scripture is an utter shambles. How do we know this? We read the Qur'an. The ayat of the Qur'an are so perfect, are so succinct. It's all in the Qur'an. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say? What the kathirun min ahli al-kitabi law yuruddunakum min ba'di imanikum kuffaran hasadan min indi anfusihim. Min ba'di ma tabayyana lahum al-haq. Many of the people of the book, many of the ahli al-kitab, they long to make you disbelievers after you have believed through envy, through hasad, on their own account, after the haq, after the truth has become manifest to them. فَعَفُوا وَاسْفَعُوا حَتَّى يَأْتِيَ اللَّهُ بِأَمْرِهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٌ Forgive and pardon until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings His command. Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is over everything powerful. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, essentially, get to work. وَأَقِيمُوا الصَّلَاةُ وَآتُوا الزَّكَاةُ وَمَا تُقَدِّمُوا لِأَنفُسِكُمْ مِنْ خَيْرٍ تَجِدُهُ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ بَصِيرٌ So establish the prayer and pay the charity. And whatever good you send before you for your souls, you will find it with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Indeed, Allah is concerning what you do all seeing. وَقَالُوا لَيَدْخُلَ الْجَنَّةِ إِلَّا مَنْ كَانَ هُودًا أَوْ نَصَارًا تِلْكَ آمَانِيُهُمْ قُلْ هَاتُوا بُرْهَانَكُمْ إِن كُنتُمْ صَادِقِينَ بَلَا مَنْ أَسْلَمَ وَجْهَهُ لِلَّهِ وَهُوَ مُحْسِنُونَ بَلَا مَنْ أَسْلَمَ وَجْهَهُ لِلَّهِ وَهُوَ مُحْسِنُونَ فَلَهُ أَجْرُهُ عِنْدَ رَبِّي وَلَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَحْسَنُونَ And they say none will enter paradise unless he be a Jew or a Christian. These are their vain delusions. Say bring your proof if you are truthful. No, whosoever submits to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and is a doer of good, his reward is with his Lord. And no fear shall come upon them, neither shall they grieve. وَقَالَتِ الْيَهُودُ لَيْسَتِ النَّصَارَ عَلَى شَيْءٍ وَقَالَتِ النَّصَارَ لَيْسَتِ الْيَهُودَ عَلَى شَيْءٍ وَهُمْ يَتْلُونَ الْكِتَابِ كَذَارِكَ قَالَ الَّذِينَ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ مِثْلَ قَوْلِهِمْ فَاللَّهُ يَحْكُمُ بَيْنَهُمْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ فِي مَا كَانُوا فِي يَخْتَرِفُونَ And the Jews say the Christians follow nothing true. And the Jews, so then the Christian, the Jews say the Christians follow nothing true. And the Christians say the Jews follow nothing true. Yet they are both readers of the Bible. Like this speak those who don't know anything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will judge between them on the day of resurrection concerning what they differed about. Sadaq Allah. This is perfect. Subhanallah, the Jews say that God is absolutely one. The Christians say that he's three in one, there's a trinity. The Jews say that God is not a man. The Christians say God became a man who died for our sins. A'udhu Billah. The Jews say that repentance is all you need to be right with God again. The Christians say reconciliation is through blood sacrifice and vicarious atonement. The Jews say that every single commandment of the Old Testament is still binding. The Christians say the vast majority of the commandments are abrogated. وَهُمْ يَتْلُونَ الْكِتَابِ And they're both reading the same exact book. Look at the chaos. 
Not only this, the Quran says, and modern textual criticism has confirmed that the Bible, Old and New Testaments, have suffered a degree of textual and exegetical corruption. تحريف النص, تحريف المعاني. There's no doubt about this. I can give you example heaped upon example, but this is not the occasion. But this is the state of their text. Yet because of a guilt complex, they attack the Quran. You know what they say about people who live in glass houses? And this is not all of them. They're not all the same. Right? We're speaking in general terms.